Hi, I'm Len Brown. And I'm Patty Brown. And we have some exciting news for you. Our trains just came. Bachman Trains in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is one of our sponsors for this program and they donated a large scale G scale train set which is typically used in garden railroads. We plan on using this train um, with a bridge that's being built by Mainline Bridges in Phoenix, Arizona. We'll be filming the train and the bridge together to bring this story to life. So we are extremely excited to share this with you and open up these boxes and see what these trains look like. Right. So let's go ahead. It's like Christmas time. I know, it's so cool. All right, very cool. What have you got in yours? Can you see yet? Well, I've got what looks like um, all the track that we're going to use. All right, very good. The electric track that we're going to use because we need, um, how much track do we need? About 100 feet, I think. Yeah, we need 100 feet of track to have this, this train packing. rolling along until it gets to the bridge. All right, now this is the engine. Okay, let's set the track to the side here for a second. Let's pull out this engine. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. Okay. We're going to take the box away. Okay, this is right. the engine this and this is, is going to require is a little bit of Columbia or the soccer team? I guess whichever one we want that the engines have come unnamed so um, we are actually going to be paying somebody to do the lettering and things on these so oh cute look at that little, little engineer oh yeah they really have this packed in here Let's yeah see. Okay. All right, let's set that box aside. All right. These are the instructions for it here. Looks like some clamps. We have a few accessories here. We'll have to see what these are. All right, we're gonna oh, set this Look at the train. Oh my goodness, this is really cool. Wow, the detail is amazing. All right, let's uh, pull this out. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how heavy these are. I'm afraid to grab it wrong. Okay. All right, very cool. So here is the engine. And, and this is the tender. The tender, all right. We learned what that was Which I here. learned <laughs> that the engine is referred to as a she and the tender is always referred to as a he. <laughs> and that was important to know as the writer. Okay. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take a little break right now. We have some other boxes. There's another big box off to the side that has all the train cars in it. So we're going to go ahead and take a little break right now and set this engine up on a track so you can see it. Okay, we decided to do something else. We decided we're going to open up the big box now because we can't wait. <laughs> we want to see what's in it. These are, I believe, the train cars. So I'm going to, I know I'm kind of peeking over this, so it looks like a gigantuous box. But we're going to... Open this up. Okay. There we go. Okay. I can't hardly see over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have all this packing material. All right, let's, let's, uh, oh my, these are awesome. Here, I'm gonna set this off to the side for a second. And we are going to start pulling these up. All right, that looks like a passenger car. Okay, and this one here looks like uh, an express car. Express cars, you can always tell because they have a baggage compartment in the front and a passenger area in the, in the other section of it. Oh, it looks like another type of a passenger car. Passenger car. Another type of passenger car. And, oh, look at this, we have uh, a transformer to run the train. This is great. And what's neat, this train is going to be being donated to the Jefferson Historical Society um, for them to put on display along with the bridge when we're finished shooting it. So this will be an awesome, awesome um, piece, display piece for the museum there. Um, okay, we're going to take another break and we're going to actually set up the train and some of these cars so that you can actually take a look at it up close. Okay, we're back. 
And as you can see, we have set the train up on a set of track here and look at the detail of these engines. They are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Now you'll notice that this one here has got the wrong smokestack on it. This has got the diamond stack and this has got the regular stack on it here. But we have a new part in the box here um, that we'll go ahead and open up and put on. You'll notice this smokestack actually just kind of comes off and then we can actually put the, put the new smokestack in its place. So uh, that was cool. Leave that there. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the detail while she's opening up this other smokestack. Look at the detail of these engines. They are absolutely beautiful in everything. I mean, just the woodwork, the brass, the painting, the color. These type of engines were very, very colorful in those days. Um, so this is a very good representation of the American style engine. It's going off the end of the track there because our track is too short. That's okay. Look at all the valves. It just is absolutely gorgeous. Everything works on these as well. Even the, uh, the, little, the little bells work. <laughs> and all in all, it really looks nice. It's going to film very nice too when we put the bridge with it. I think the detail inside these engines are truly fantastic because as I'm looking at the script and writing, I can almost visualize when Dan McGuire and Pat Folsom are in there and um, running the engines. You can see the throttle where Dan McGuire in the first engine, the soccer shoes would have pulled on it to get to the other side. It just, it's just so amazing. Another amazing thing about these engines is even the fire door opens and it glows red inside of there when the, when the engine's running. Another cool thing about these trains is even the smokestack works by putting smoke oil down the smokestack, you can actually get the smokestack to work. And the headlight works, it's a bright LED light. So it's going down the track, you can actually see those things in operation. All right, we're gonna take another little break here right now, and we're gonna take out some of the cars and show those to you. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and look at the passenger cars. These are really, really neat. I think they're, um, the detail is just as amazing as the engines. When we uh, show you a little bit later some of the inside, this is probably a day passenger coach. It could have been the sleeper. Um, we're gonna turn these cars into the Yokohama, the, the smoking car. We have day passenger cars and express cars. And the other thing that we're gonna be doing with these cars is these cars match exactly the style of car that was in Strasbourg when we were there. And Strasbourg Railroad was nice enough to give us a paint sample of what their car's colors were. So we have the actual color of the car. Um, the red, as you remember, was, was the outside. The black was the roof. So we've got some work to do to make these cars look exactly like those. So when we're filming them, you can't tell them apart. So we're going to take another break and take a couple more of these cars out for you to look at. OK, we're back. And these are some of the different style cars that we have. This could be a day passenger coach that maybe Marion Shepard was riding. She was one of the heroines on the train. Or maybe Philip Bliss and his wife Lucy, the beloved hymn writer. And this would be the baggage cars. There were two baggage cars right behind the two engines. And then there were two day passenger cars. So it might have been something like this or like this. Then they had the... This is actually a express car. And look at the detail on these. Look how the doors open up on those. They, they are so cool. And the smokestacks on here that go to the, uh, the uh, little uh, cold burning stoves inside. The, the, the attention to detail that Bachman has given these uh, cars is absolutely exquisite. Yeah, this is really going to look nice. Picture this riding along, painted differently. It's going to turn into the Pacific Express number five.
Thanks for joining us for another behind the scenes look at the filming of Engineering Tragedy.